what's up guys welcome to the new video how you guys doing you know I've been only making like two minute Tuesday sit down videos I haven't done vlog lately but I've been doing a lot of filming for other company making commercials and also I've been doing a lot of fitness you know I started a new journey so I kind of want to share with you guys and they also you know take you guys to what my day like a week's look like you know so let's get started Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. You know, the funny things about is actors say stuff. I can hear everything. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> How have I not learned that by now? <laughs> I guess, are we going to do a wardrobe check? It's not, not real. real. <laughs> is that is that for ethical reasons? Is it what? Is that ethical reasons? Yes. Nice. It is that's ethical good. Reason. <laughs> I just got my new truck, but I did. I, thank you, but I didn't get any any zero percent APR, bro. Well, say what? Yeah, I guess I gotta use truck because I ain't rich like that, you know. Yeah. I guess my change, editors. Change the pitch. Yeah. My editor is like too uh, spoiled. I think they wanna cut the AC and stuff too. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'll edit through anything. Yeah. Talking about. I don't know, man. No. Who's your editor? Yo, what's up? Oh, I'm your boy, Trevor Wham. <laughs> I'm some chicken sandwich. Joe Cooper Street today. I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs> what's up? So tell me about your parking skills. Um, I don't know if I have any, but no. that car's off. I think people make Bro. fun of girls' parking skills. Exhibit A. You can't put that on your content. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, you're not driving? That's what I'm telling you. Let me tell you guys. CarPlay, it doesn't work sometimes. Check this out. How's that? Is that supposed to work right now, right? That's part of the day. Watch, it, uh, watching Tim put these up. Come on, Tim. It broke. Thank you. This is his first day for the hunter's time. Yep. Back to day one, baby. <laughs> 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 Hey, real quick, Yosuke. How, how do you feel about the shoot today? Uh, any shoot any today. comments? How did your guys do? I think the planet, not too much, not too much expectation. I think this is kind of like a things about the vlog I want to talk about is that, you know, life, if you just overwhelm yourself, you get tired, you want to take a nap and you don't enjoy life. But if you just make sure like the things, you don't have to do it too much in a day, your quality of life is a lot bigger and a lot happier. Also, you probably make more money. One piece of advice you'd give yourself if you were a kid. Honestly, you probably just lay off on the alcohol a little bit because, you know, when you started at 12 years old, there was a problem. And now you are here, 30-year-old man, still with a problem. So what I would say is when your cousin Long asks you for if you want a drink, say no. Video. Hey, see who's calling? I don't got time today. What is going on guys? So we're in Minneapolis. Just kidding, we're in Minnesota, Rochester area. There's a lot of people, bunch of doctors lives. Look at these houses. Gorgeous houses, gorgeous houses. Gorgeous lady over here. So, do you like living in Rochester? Can you see you can live here? I think I could live here, but maybe when I'm a little older and I want a slower lifestyle. Yeah. But it's really pretty and everyone's super nice and it feels like there's a good sense of community. 
That is important. We've been thinking about moving. I think that we would like to know where is the best place to live in the world if you are single, if you are don't have a kids, don't have family, wherever you wanted to live, where would you want to live? San Diego or Japan or Hawaii or somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Greece? Maybe. Switzerland? Maybe. Iceland? I don't know about that. Does this collar look cool? I don't think so. <laughs> it's keeping me warm. <laughs> Life has been nice. Check in. Think that I'm gonna start running more. So, um, for now, we'll see you guys later. Where are you going? Are you too good? You waiting for me to open the door? Yes. What do you think I would do? Well, if you're a gentleman, Open the door for your lady. Are you complimenting yourself? Huh? Are you complimenting yourself? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think people open the door for you? I appreciate it. I appreciate but You're the man who has opened the door the most for me. Really? Yes. It's nice. That's why we're dating. Okay. I think the guys doesn't open the door. He's kind of losers. That's what I think. I mean, nobody has to open the door for me, but specifically for that reason, it's why I appreciate it. All right. So whenever you guys going to work out at the hotel gym, usually they only have free weights till 50 pounds. So tip is, you know. You can do more sets and it's, it's, it's better, but the focus on the decline, the decline to be a lot slower than you normally do. So then you can do 10 reps or three sets or four sets, but still harder and it's still growing. So you can make sure, you know, you're gaining, you're, you're contracting your muscle slower so you're gaining muscle, if that makes sense. Let me show you. Pounds. See, usually I can do a little bit heavier weight for like 12 reps or something, but that, that'll get your chest pumped because you're declining, you're, you're, you're bringing down your weight, but at the same time, you're slowing down whenever you are going downwards, right? Which most, you, I should do that more often, but I don't really do that, so you're building the muscle you never do. So whenever you're out of town, don't be discouraged. You can't bench press or whatever. There's no Olympic bar and stuff, but you know, you can be creative to, you can get still good a workout in, even the hotel gym. Well, so go to gym. Physique update. Kind of little fat, fat chunky. I'm gonna get shredded for Japan. Keep me, I'll keep you guys updated. This hotel gym has a pull up bar with a rock climbing stones. So if I can do, you said, you think five pull ups? You think I can do five pull ups? Okay, so if I can do five pull ups, hit the subscribe button. Ten. Ten. 
the subscribe button, like, and comment, subscribe. Boring. <laughs> Traditional. Okay, you're right. Classic. Timeless. I do want a little more excitement though. What so is the white pie, the Bianca with um, caramelized apples and balsamic. Can I do one slice of this and one slice of this one? Itadakimasu. Mmm. It tastes healthy. What is it? It's like salad pizza. Solid pizza? Salad pizza? Salad pizza. Nine, ten. Mm. Ten out of ten rating. Because it tastes so healthy, which makes me feel better when I eat it, I'm gonna give it an 8.75. Nice. If you have a pizza, you need to have a red crushed pepper. Taste this for, where is this place called? Pascal. Pascal in Minnesota. Let's say. Seems like the owner is Italian, so it's it's promising. 9.2 out of 10. I like how crispy this dough is. It's like I can like hear the sound. Let's see pepperoni. Ma'am. I'll say 7.6 out of 10. See, vegetarian always tastes better. It's not really that good, but also pizza, best pizza in the world is still Pizza by Luigi in Green Pie, Texas. Check that out. What? You should chew with your mouth closed. YouTube doesn't want to see that. For YouTube, I would like to have a book. It's called How to Be Adult by Jennifer Tree Logan. I will totally read it. And I'm, I'm actually reading it right now. But I'm like finished chapter like three-ish. So I'll let you guys know when I finish that book. Peace. So you know, I wanted to talk to you guys about is like lately I've been somewhat overwhelmed. You know, there's a lot of work going on. And also there's a lot of work, a lot of you know, fitness, you know, maybe I'm derailing from fitness, I'm not bench pressing or something like that. And then, you know, I kind of get overwhelmed. And then like, I started thinking about, you know, like almost, thank you guys, but almost hitting a thousand subscribers. And then, you know, I, I've been doing YouTube for a year and then I haven't hit the thousand subscribers. And then like, you know, that was my goal, but I didn't achieve that goal within that time frame. And they made me think, you know, I was thinking about, yeah, maybe I should start doing that. Like, yeah, I'm going to run 30 days straight. Or like, I'm going to do triathlon uh, training in seven days. So something like extraordinarily goals and then make it happen and show it to you guys. And then maybe I have more subscribers. But I thought about it. You know, sometimes I can just film these kind of daily blog. And then I can just run whenever I can. And then don't put pressure on myself is I have to do this 30 days straight. Yeah, discipline is good. Yeah, it's all good, but we're all human. Sometimes it's more to life than just the one thing. It's life is a balanced thing. So sometimes you have to commit and then you have a race or competition or something like that. And then you have to do it. But end of the day, it's it's just whatever the competition it is. So, you know, I've been, I've been learning. I've been running. And then, you know, like there is, a call, there is an app called Nike app, Nike run app. And then there's a, there's a coach will tell you, like a guided run, and the coach will tell you, like, uh, you know, give you a coaching while you're running in your ear. And then it's, he's very motivating, he's kind of funny, and <clears throat> I've been running a lot, you know, 30 minutes here and there, 45 minutes here and there, 60 minutes here and there. I've been enjoying running. 
And then fitness is supposed to be fun. And fitness is supposed to be something you look forward to. And then sometimes grind, 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 and the discipline make, make yourself feel good. But sometimes get back to the routine, get back to the roots of having fun. Doing fun thing makes you happy. Maybe that's more important than random marathon. But I would like to announce I am, I am going to do a triathlon. It's contradicting what I'm saying right now, but that makes me happy. But I'm not putting a timeline, hey, I'm gonna do this or whatever. I'm gonna gradually start doing the training and then whenever I'm ready, Nobody can tell me when. I'm, I'm not gonna tell myself, I'm not gonna pressure myself when. I'm just gonna figure it out when I wanna do it and I'll make that happen. And then I will document, I will show you guys this is what you can do too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And then let me know if you guys like this kind of vlog too. You know, I wanna do this more often because I was watching, you know, back in like I was doing more vlog and then you know going back to see I can truly see where I was and then my friends and my family was and all that kind of stuff it is a fun thing to watch I mean maybe I'm just doing this for myself and I'm enjoying it so hopefully you guys enjoyed it too so don't be half stepper always be frank and I'll see you guys in the next video peace Well, maybe I should go run then. I'm already have running shoes. Peace.